Hi guys, it's Coach Barry. I have fitness challenge number one. We would normally call this egg on a spoon, but we're not gonna use eggs. We're gonna use the three balls Miss Barry has. I have a big ball. I have a medium sized ball, which happens to belong to my dog. And I have like a Spalding ball. I also have three spoons. I have a teaspoon. I have a tablespoon and I have a salad spoon. Teaspoon would be the hardest. The easiest would be the salad spoon. You choose the object that works best for you. You could challenge yourself any way you feel comfortable. I also have two markers, which I'm using as yoga blocks. You could use shoes, you could use garbage pails, you could use anything that you think might work for you. So I'm gonna take my two markers and I'm gonna place them down on the ground and you could choose the distance you want to go. I'm going to choose the first object being the tablespoon. It's a middle-sized object, so I'm going to take my ball, I'm going to balance it. I could use my other hand for balance, but I'm not going to hold it on the spoon. I'm going to try to use my balancing skills to get around the object and bring it back Okay, if it falls, you just pick it up and put it back on. Now I'm going to challenge myself with the second biggest object, which is the dog's ball. And I'm going to move it around. And again, if it falls, I'm going to pick it up and continue. And there I go. Now I'm going to try it with the hardest object, which is the biggest ball. And I'm going to balance that on my tablespoon. And this one's much harder because the wind could take it and I'm gonna walk around my, my distance. And again, you can set the distance any way you would like. And there you go. So if this was too easy for you, then you go to the next smallest object, which for me would be the teaspoon. And you could challenge yourself between the objects, okay? So make sure you get permission from your mom to use the spoons and after you use them, make sure you wash them, all right? Great job. Can't wait to see you again. Have a great day, everybody.